Before we begin, I just want to um, start with a land acknowledgement to honor the history of First Nations people in our region. Waterloo Region is part of the Haldeman Tract, which encompasses six miles on either side of the Grand River from the mouth near Dundalk, where it empties into Lake Erie at Port Maitland, also referred to as the One Dish, One Spoon Treaty Territory. This is the land traditionally used by the Haudenosaunee, Anishinaabe, and Neutral People. The region remains committed to working together with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit communities on our path to truth and reconciliation. I am a settler on this land and I acknowledge my own personal and professional responsibility to seek knowledge and unlearn and relearn the histories and experiences of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit communities and reflect on the actions I can take toward reconciliation. And as I am learning, I am also committed to respecting and honoring Indigenous knowledge, wisdom, and culture. Rachel, I'm just wondering if I can pass it over to you to do the first slide as I open up the document. Just the welcome, uh, as well as the presentation logistics. Absolutely, welcome everyone. So the scope of today's meeting is to discuss the region of Waterloo's licensed home childcare agency, as well as the impact of the Canada-wide early learning and childcare plan on parents that use home childcare. So we don't have enough details to share on how the um, Canada-wide early learning and childcare plan discounts for parents will be administered or when, but further details about that will be coming from our local consolidated municipal service manager at the region of Waterloo at another date. So just a few presentations with presentation logistics. So this session will be recorded and it will be posted on our home childcare website within a week or two. We will not be able to see your camera or hear your voice during the presentation. The first half of this info session will be a formal presentation and we look forward to answering your questions during the second half. If you have any questions, please post them in the chat, which will be seen by the moderator, Amber. Thanks so much, Rachel. I also wanted to mention that at the end of this session, we will be posting our contact information just in case um, we didn't quite get to your questions or you think of any following the presentation. So um, I wanted to start by just sharing a little bit about our agency and the values that underpin what we do. The Region of Waterloo Home Child Care Program views children as competent, capable of complex thinking, curious and rich in potential. We strive to ensure all children receive quality childcare, which promotes healthy social, emotional, and physical development. We do this by assisting parents in choosing for care for their children in a supervised home environment that respects all cultures and family values. We support and endorse positive and supportive learning environments in a home-based setting, which fosters children's exploration, play, and inquiry. And just to that first point, I really want to emphasize here how much our program values diversity in our community. Our program is extremely diverse, both in the caregivers that hold contracts and in the families using our care. This is something that we're very proud of, as we know it enriches the lives as, of children as they grow. Some additional um, values that underpin what we do, we encourage an active partnership between parents, caregivers, children in our program through positive responsive interactions. We identify children's needs and strengths and assist families in accessing community resources. We encourage children to interact and communicate in a positive way and support their ability to self-regulate. And we offer resources and provide consultations to caregivers in child development, behavior guidance, nutrition, health, safety, and other child-related topics. These are just some of the values that our program is based on. We all know what an important time the early years are for the long-term outcomes of children. And we work with each of our caregivers in providing the highest quality care for the children of our region. Home child care, understanding a little bit about licensed care. So home child care agencies hold a license with the Ministry of Education. I know there's sometimes a little bit of confusion and the term licensed home child care provider is used, but it's actually the home child care um, agency itself that holds the license. And individual home child care providers are contracted with that licensed agency. So they don't hold a license themselves, they have a contract with a licensed agency. Contracting with a licensed agency is not a requirement under the new Canada-wide Early Learning and Childcare Plan. It is a choice that each provider can make. 
and parents can also choose whether or not to enroll with a licensed agency. Up until this point, some parents may not have even known if their home child care provider had a contract or not with a licensed agency. But as this plan rolls out, it will be more important for parents to have that understanding. And that's hopefully one of the goals of today's session is that you have a better sense of what that means for you and get a sense of if your uh, caregiver, if you're using one right now, holds a contract already or not. So uh, a little bit about the Canada-wide early learning and child care plan and the impact on home child care. So what we do know so far is that rebates for parents will start at 25% off regular fees and that will begin April 1st. That will only be eligible for parents that attend a caregiver who holds a contract with a licensed agency. In December, that rebate is increasing to 50% and will continue to increase until 2025 when parents will pay an average of $10 per day. Parent rebates will only be available for parents from the date that a caregiver signed a contract with a licensed agency. <clears throat> At this point, um, we don't know exactly when the uh, rebates will be issued, but we know they will be retroactive. And as I mentioned, uh, from April 1st, or when the caregiver signs a contract with a licensed agency. If you are currently enrolled with a caregiver who does not hold a contract with licensed agency, we encourage you to have a conversation with your caregiver to see if they have plans on joining a licensed agency. If they don't contract, unfortunately, you will not be eligible for the rebates. So for you as a parent, uh, what are some of the benefits of enrolling with the Region of Waterloo Home Child Care Program? So um, those parents in our program receive the support and guidance of a registered early childhood educator throughout their journey um, and time with us. Uh, parents also, a lot of parents get peace of mind knowing that caregivers contracted with our program must meet high standards of quality as set up by the Ministry of Education. Um, parents automatically have their fees withdrawn by the Region of Waterloo monthly. The rebates, um, the provincial rebates that are coming will be automatically administered. There's access to interpreter or other community supports as needed, and siblings can stay together in the same home. Um, I mean, there's just so many benefits for to to use Region of Waterloo Home Child Care Program. Some of the additional ones include uh, the ability to use evening and weekend hours, smaller group sizes, services offered in other languages, and uh, some generally most parents are able to find a convenient location. Caregivers are located in many neighborhoods in our region and it is um, it may be possible to find one very close to your home or where you work. I'm just going to also um, talk a little bit about private care. So we may hear this term being used and I'm going to explain what it is. So some caregivers in our program choose to enter into a private arrangement with a parent. In this case, the parent is not enrolled with our agency and this is considered private care. The caregiver in this case sets their own fees in a private care arrangement. Caregivers must still ensure that the required documentation uh, paperwork is collected for each parent. And at this point, we are unsure if private care arrangements will be eligible for the fee reduction. Why don't we take a minute now and look at our parent fees? Okay, so in our program, uh, I'm going to go through different, um, a different rate structure, and it really depends on the number of hours that care is used per day. So the first category here is for zero to 10 hours of care. And this is our most common rate. This is most children use rate, use care between zero and 10 hours a day. Before and after school is a different rate. And I'll, I'll talk about that at the end of um, these, what, at, at the last slide of the rate structures. So for infants, and we consider that to be three to 18 months, the parent fee is $55 a day. For toddlers, which we consider to be 18 to 30 months, it's $49 a day. For preschoolers, which is between 30 and 72 months, that's $47 a day. And for school age, which is 72 months and up, which is six years old and up, it's $45 a day. Um, these, and by the way, these rates are also posted on our website. So don't feel that you have to be um, madly uh, writing down these. We will be posting as well this presentation on our website uh, within a couple of days. But I also wanted to let you know that these rates are also currently posted on our home childcare website. 
The next category is uh, between 10 and 18 hours of care. So this can be an extended day. Uh, it, can, it could be overnight care. Um, some, it, it really depends on the circumstance, but all care that's between 10 and 18 hours, these will be the fees. So for infants, it's $62 a day. For toddlers, it's $60 a day. For preschoolers, it's $58 a day. And for school age, it's $56 a day. Our next uh, rate category is between 18 to 23 hours a day. And for that length of time, infants, the rate is $83 a day. Toddlers are $81 a day. Preschoolers are $79 a day. And school agers, which is six and up, are $77 a day. And then the before and after school fee is $26 a day for preschool children and school age children up to five hours of care. And for preschool children, those are really those who are old enough to attend school. Okay, so now that we've talked a bit about our rates, let's talk about um, quality within licensed home child care. So quality is something, high levels of quality, is something that's extremely important, as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation. And how do we maintain that in our program? First and foremost, um, we provide professional development opportunities for caregivers to continue to expand their skills and their knowledge base. Um, each caregiver and the children in our program receive the support of a registered early childhood educator that visits each caregiver at least monthly. We also have extensive safety requirements for caregivers, which include valid standard first aid, recent vulnerable sector checks for all adults in the home, and family and children's services background check, again, for all adults in the home. We uh, are our home visitors, which we call home child care consultants, do unannounced quarterly inspections at each caregiver's home, and we follow all policies and procedures as set out by the Ministry of Education, Region of Waterloo, and Public Health. And to the first point, um, as I mentioned, we really value professional development and in our program are focusing on the high scope approach of learning for children. This is an evidence based program that promotes high quality learning environments for children. And just to quickly touch on that last point, I know that there might be um, questions about the policies that we use in our program. All of uh, the, the main policies that we use are listed on our website as well, if you want to take a look. Um, and at this point in time, uh, our, our COVID policies, we do have a few remaining COVID policies, and those are um, within the discretion of our local public health unit, as well as the Ministry of Education. At this point in time, as I mentioned, there are very few uh, policies remaining related to COVID, but we must adjust them to meet requirements based on changing conditions. And by and large, our policies do match the policies set out by, uh, that you will find in our local school boards. Here's just a few examples of policies set out by the Ministry of Education, just for you to have a sense. So all children must spend at least two hours outside every day in every season. Caregivers must follow Canada's food guide when serving food to children. Menus must be posted daily for parents to see in their entranceway. Caregivers must record the time that all children arrive and depart their home, as well as any illnesses and nap times. And caregivers must have sufficient toys and play materials for the ages of the children in their care. Toys and equipment must be in good working order. And as I mentioned, each uh, caregiver also has that unscheduled inspection four times a year to ensure that all of these policies are being followed. Our home child care consultants are also providing guidance and support related to all areas of child development and are keeping an eye on the healthy development of each child in care. Now for you as a parent, if you wanna learn more about um, finding quality child care, there's a lot of great resources on the Region of Waterloo Children's Services website. I've posted the website here, it's very long, as you can see here. Um, but you can easily find it, but just by just going to the regular regionofwaterloo.ca website. At the very top, you'd click on living here, then you'd go to community services, and then you can click on finding quality care. This is just a little screenshot about uh, from that page, which outlines some of the things that you may want to ask yourself as a parent when you're looking for childcare for your children. So if you decide um, to enroll with license, our licensed home childcare program, 
if you decide that it's right for you, we're going to ask parents to visit one list to register. And here's the website right here. It's regionofwaterloo.1hsn.com. Uh, again, that website can be found on the Region of Waterloo uh, website in, or the Region of our own home child care website. When you get to that Region of Waterloo.1hsn.com, you're going to click on Waterloo Region Licensed Child Care and be begin your account set up from there if you don't already have an account. All licensed child care options will be available that are uh, in our region. And so you would select Region of Waterloo Home Child Care for our program in particular. So this concludes the formal part of our presentation. We wanted to leave a lot of time for questions, but just before we get into the questions, I wanted to um, just have our contact information available here. So there's a number of ways you can get in touch with us if you have additional questions. You can give us a call at the Region of Waterloo main number, and then when you hear uh, someone pick up, you can just ask for home childcare and you'll be redirected. Or you can email us directly at homechildcare1 at regionofwaterloo.com. CA. And one of our program staff will get back to you as soon as possible. I know that there's a lot of interest, so we just ask for your patience as we are processing um, a larger number of applications than usual um, since the announcement from the, from the provincial government, but we are aiming to get to all parents as soon as we can. Um, that's it from me. So I'm going